I'm Zachary Gorman, and I would like to talk to you about the balances of man, Mother Nature, and our ocean wildlife. When you go to the beach, all you may think you see are people, ocean, birds, shells, and an all-around place to have fun. But there are many things lurking beneath the waters that deserve a little more attention. Many different types of life live in the ocean. There are fish, coral, and crustaceans. You may run across a crab or a lobster waiting in the sand looking for something to eat. Look out! Their claws will grab onto anything. The reefs of our beaches are living organisms that are homes to many smaller fish. The reef helps protect the smaller fish from the larger predators that may want to have them as a snack. Another habitat or home for fish is the mangrove or what we call walking trees. They can actually pick up their roots and plant themselves elsewhere. Many animals find shelter either in the roots or branches of mangroves. The roots provide protected nursery areas and food for fish species such as snook, snapper, and tarpon. The branches of the mangrove also provide shelter and nesting areas for our coastal birds. They are a favorite resting place for our friendly pelican. Pelicans find their food by hovering over the water. Once they spot their prey, they dive headfirst into the ocean to capture it. Once the fish is caught, the pelican will hold the fish in its mouth and will then lean its head forward to drain out the extra salt water. While this pelican was busy catching fish, Another hunter was busy catching something a little bit bigger. A young boy got quite a surprise when he was shooting a class project this weekend in Pompano Beach. Zachary Gorman was filming the seagulls and looking to see if anyone was going fishing when he noticed a man hauling an unusually large fish. Uh, that would turn out to be a 13-foot bull shark. We were just going out to see um, if anybody caught some fish and they when we got out there, they had this huge fish on, and we didn't know what it was until we saw the fin come out of the water. Well, there was probably 20, 30 people out there, and everybody was going nuts, uh, you know, cheering the guy on, trying to bring the fish in. I have a feeling that the little boy is going to do fine on this class project. Now, we're told bull sharks are the most frequent attacker of swimmers in the shark family. However, in the end, the fishermen did let this particular shark go. Bull sharks can grow to be at least 12 feet long and are extremely dangerous. They are known to swim very close to shore and are not picky about what they eat. Sharks have great senses. It can see in dark murky water because its eyes work like night vision goggles. Well, in the waters off the Pompano Beach Pier, swimmers got quite a scare when a fisherman trying to catch dinner got a scary surprise. And it's all caught on camera. On a beautiful beach day, an amateur videographer shot seagulls in dazzling water for a class project for Zachary Gorman. As the big catch got closer, it became apparent this was a bigger catch than anyone had bargained for. What? Then all of a sudden, he surfaced. A bull shark, 12 to 13 feet long and putting up quite a fight, he is the most frequent attacker of swimmers in the shark family, and he really knows how to clear a beach. Can't just pull it up and then we're trying to figure out if they're going to shoot it or if they're going to catch it. I wasn't that sh scared because in the Abacos we uh, swam with sharks. No one wanted to swim with this guy for sure. The bull shark was eventually unhooked and set free back into the deep blue. And as for Zachary's class project, this is going to be an awesome school project. He might just get an A. First, I'm going to show him the video, and then I'll tell him that it was a huge shark, and it was really cool. That certainly will make his project. No one was hurt. Bull sharks are very aggressive and typically swim close to the shore and are known to eat anything they get their jaws on. Unfortunately, for all of our sea life, Man is gradually destroying their natural habitats. Barges are continuously dumping oil and trash into our oceans that are killing the coral reefs.
people are depleting the fish population by not adhering to the amount and size restrictions that are allowed by law. If we do not take care of our oceans and its habitants, we will not have them for our future generations.